Hey guys, Selena here. It's been forever since I did a video, but I am back. We'll see how this goes because I'm horrible with consistency. As you guys can tell, I cut my hair, so it's a lot shorter now. Uh, Zion is up. You can probably hear him, so he will definitely be over here eventually. Hopefully, I can get him to say some things, but who knows. Um, so this is going to be his two and a half year update. He turns two and a half in a few weeks, but since I'm like so horrible at uploading videos, I figured best if I film it now and then maybe later um I'll probably like upload this right around the time where he turns two and a half but he turns two and a half on April 8th please? and he just said please there you go so he is 31 pounds he is maybe about 36 inches I'm not even really sure he wears 3T to 4T clothing, mostly 3T though. He is in size, uh, give it here please. Give it here, come here. No! You're not drinking it, kid. This is like real life, I'm not editing this. He was just dumping out the water. Um, I thought he was gonna drink it, but I guess not. <laughs> so, um, what was I saying, diapers? Oh, 3T to 4T clothing, mostly 3T, uh, 5 to 6, uh, size 5 to 6 diapers. Um, he, we are not potty training, we, I don't know if I want to potty train, we are going to be moving in July or August from Washington to either Ohio or Georgia, and we're going to be traveling by car, and we're going to be stopping in St. Louis, maybe, so, um, potty training is like traveling with a potty trained toddler is like just not ideal period so we are going to be doing diapers while we travel but that might cause regression if he's like already potty trained so it's, I just don't know if I want to have to deal with um regression or if I just want to go ahead and potty train him after we move like I don't know right now at all so that's kind of like where we are like he's okay with using the potty um i don't really get like any kind of fussing out of him for it but like if he's naked he'll just be on the floor he doesn't hold it anymore um he's okay with having diapers on but after he pees in it one time he'll take it off um so it'll save us money to potty train but it's like i other than that, I really just don't know if it's worth it to do it now or to wait. I Maybe I will. I think I'm leaning towards doing it because it'll save money. I'm not having to buy as many diapers anymore. But I just, I don't know. Um, He wears size 9 shoes. And I remember in his last video, I said that I hated Walmart shoes, but I didn't really explain why. I couldn't explain why. But so he has two pairs of the same shoes from Walmart. One is size eight and one are size nine. The size eight are too big and the size, no, the size eight are too small. The size nine are too big. And that's why I hate Walmart shoes. We usually go to pay less. So he would probably be in like eight and a half right now. But, um, he just needed some new shoes, so we just got some from Walmart, but I cannot stand his shoes from Walmart because they're just too big and they fall off his feet. Uh, so this one I have said in like all of his last updates. I hope he's not getting into anything. He's in our dog's room, the dog, or my brother's room, but that's where the dog is, so he's in there with her. I don't think he is though. Zion! What you doing? Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are him. I ask him what he's doing and he goes, it is. And then I say bye and he leaves. Okay, so, but he's parroting everything that we say. And I know I've said that before, but like now it's like a lot clearer. And before he would only say like one word, like usually the word at the end or the word that he knows. But now if I say it slow enough or if he knows the phrase, he will say every single word um and he does copy other kids so like if we're in the store and a kid starts crying he'll start crying if they laugh he laughs it's kind of annoying <laughs> but he copies what he sees other kids do um there's one thing that i did not put on here that i'm going to put on here really quick okay 
So he is still rear facing. He can stay rear facing for his car seat up until he's 35 pounds and he's only 31. So we still have him rear facing. Um, mean to our dog. He is still mean to our dog. I don't know like where he is at in terms of learning empathy. I feel like it's obvious. Maybe it's just like me because I already have it that he's hurting the dog, but he doesn't seem to realize it regardless of if she bites him or not. And she doesn't bite hard, she play bites. It's just, it's literally just like this. Like she would never bite down really hard unless it was me. <laughs> but, um, so like if he's holding on to her tail and I go to take um, his hand off her tail, she'll bite me because she's trying to let out that frustration, but she doesn't want to do it to him. And I'm cool with that. I get it. Like, because <laughs> I'd be frustrated with the kid too. Um, shouldn't bite the hand that feeds, but you know. Um, he he doesn't, he's not there with his level of empathy yet. <sighs> this one, he knocks things over. Like, he does not watch what he's doing, period. So he is forever knocking things over. And it doesn't matter if I, like, have him help me clean it up. Like, five seconds later, he'll knock something else over. It's like he's hyper focusing on something and it's the only thing that exists in the world. So he like is forever knocking things over like and it doesn't matter where I put it. Like I could put something on top of Mount Everest and he'll find a way to knock it over. Eczema, his eczema is getting a lot better. Um, you can watch, I believe it'll be up here in the corner, um, my video on dealing with his eczema. Um, and finding out he has allergies. So we used to, we were doing, giving him his allergy medicine with his Certazine, I believe it is. Um, putting Aveeno on him and then putting hydrocortisone on him. Um, the one that we get from the doctor was 2.5%. And the last few nights, I really haven't had to do that. Um, we haven't done the medicine. We haven't done the hydrocortisone. I do do the Aveeno after a bath because he gets itchy. Uh, he is eating a lot better, <laughs> which has been a hard one though, because with all of his allergies, I've had to like re, and the fact that we're vegan, I've had to like re figure out like what to feed this kid. But a lot of the foods that I am feeding him, he's eating a lot better than like what he was before. He does still take a nap. Uh, he cannot not take a nap otherwise he KOs super early and then ends up waking up um, like a few hours later so he takes a nap around 3 30 4 p.m. which I know it's late but we do also get up late because I work at night um, he still wakes up in the middle of the night which sucks but that's something that we're working on some nights it's less than others he can count to six with help um, without help, he just repeats one three one three one three over and over again, and I think he repeats it because he knows that there are there's a number in between there. He just doesn't. He just can't do it on his own. So when we count together, it's not like he's waiting on me to say the number. He says the we say it at the same time, or he says it before me, and so he can count all the way up to six doing this. But on his own not so much if that makes sense so it's not like i'm telling him the answer it's just that he's more confident with help than he is without help and it's like that with a lot of things for him um so he knows his name and he knows my name but if i ask him like what's his name he can't answer that question but if i say who's that um he can answer that um and he he calls me mommy he calls me mom and then he does call me sal i'm okay with him calling me by my first name and or my nickname like i'm okay with him calling me whatever um i feel like that's like a whole nother video though that i could go into he knows all his colors but orange there is a video which i can link up there for you guys of him saying all of his colors but orange um i don't know like what it is about orange but he doesn't even attempt to say the color orange um, he knows all of his body parts. Whenever he writes, he does try to spell his name. Of course, I don't have. Um, he does try to spell his name when he writes. 
I allow him to choose out the clothes that he wears during the day. So um, I will give him like three options of tops and let him choose one. And then I will give him three matching usually options of pants and let him choose one. And then he chooses from one of three shoes. He's got like a black pair, his blue rain boots, and then his brown cowboy boots. And he chooses one of those. Um, coloring, he does enjoy to color, like on everything. He's got like pages in my sketchbook that he's colored on that I let him color on. Um, I was going to show you guys something with coloring. I think he does pretty well in terms of, for a two-year-old anyways, in terms of trying to color inside the line. But the paper that I had him color is like all the way over there and I don't really feel like getting it. Um, he asks, what's that? A lot. And he will repeat what's that over and 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 over again until he gets an answer. Um... He can jump with two feet off the ground, which is a developmental milestone. Tumbling, I want to work with him more on that. He can do handstands on the couch um, or headstands on the couch. And sometimes he will flip, usually on the couch. I do want to work with him more on that. Um, he currently likes things that go still, so like... Um, cars trucks trains he is into his cooking still um his babies he's got like his two babies that are over there on the couch uh, that he put down for a nap um he enjoys playing with our dog but again he does get a bit rough with her so he's still kind of working on empathy which is a pretty huge milestone um, his favorite character, I want to say, is Thomas the Train. And he does like Sky from Paw Patrol, but he does not watch Paw Patrol. He will watch Paw Patrol, uh, like people playing with the toys on his tablet on YouTube Kids, but he won't watch the actual show. But he enjoys Sky. Um, he doesn't, we don't really do TV right now because he just, I think we were doing too much TV before. Um, for reasons maybe I will talk about in a different video but um, he just has no interest in it right now unless it's something like Coraline or like the Corpse Bride that kind of has like that clay animation going on um, he's okay with me leaving now which is like huge um, so like he could be sitting on the couch uh, and I could just and nobody else could be in the living room and I could just leave and he's okay with that um, because I have doctor's appointments now that I go to and which I actually do plan on making a video about that actually I've tried and I it was horrible so I just didn't upload it but um, he like of course there are people here watching him but he doesn't cry every single time I leave now so that's good um, and hitting so we are currently like we just like a few weeks ago just this month in March have started going through the terrible twos which um, it's I'm sure it's not as bad as like what other people have to go through but he has started hitting and I do think that that has something to do with my brother love him to death like you know how brothers are annoying and stuff like that right so he'll like you know they just come by and hit you just randomly and all that stuff so he does the same thing to my son and then after he hits my son again it, it's just playing it's not like anything abusive or anything so it's just a play hit um my son will come and hit me um or he'll go hit somebody else or something like that but his hits aren't like play hits so we're dealing with that um he doesn't take no too well but what kid does um he's testing so if i tell him no to stop doing something he'll do it to something else so like if he's standing on the glass um tv stand i will tell him to get off and he'll go stand on something else but honestly i don't care that you, you can stand on that other thing if you want to but you can't stand on the glass hey what's that come here Uh, he's got one of my brother's toys. Or it's not a toy, I guess it's a figurine. Come here. Come here. You know you can't. You're not supposed to open this, right? 
let me see if I can close this back. Come here. Come say hi. 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 Say hi. Say hi, Viva. Hi, Papa. Who's that? Sha. Is that Mia? Mia. Hi, Mia. Hi, Mia. Be gentle, gentle. Okay, Viva. Who's that? Sha. Sha. Who's that? Sha. Is that Zion? Nana. You want to count? Da. One. Two. Two. Three. three two. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. See, so, yeah, he only really knows up to six, maybe seven. Um, I think that's going to be it for this video. Mia, go away. Get out, please. Bye, Mia. Bye. Out. Bye. Um... So yeah, that's going to be it. So say bye bye, booty butt. There'll be bye more videos bye. soon if the perfectionist in me can like get past them not being perfect and upload them. Okay, press you and press the button. Bye.